Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to set audit field values for imported records using Data Loader. Data Loader allows you to set audit fields when you insert or import new records from a different org or other external data source. This allows you to retain the original values rather than those values defaulting to the date of your import. The audit fields are created by, created date, last modified by ID, last modified date. To set these values, you must have the correct features and user permissions enabled. See the Enable Create Audit Fields article for more details. Since these fields are intended to be used for auditing purposes, it is only possible to set them on record creation and not update. For more information on enabling audit fields, review this video. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. If you're transferring data from another CRM, you can perform an export all on the desired object to download a copy of the CSV column headers used with Salesforce. Cross-reference those column headers against the data available in your original CRM to fill out the CSV and prepare it for upload into Salesforce. Otherwise, in this screencast, I will export four system fields and the required fields necessary from the account object from another Salesforce org. Open Data Loader, select Export, enter Credentials, click Login, click Next, Select Account from the list. Choose a place to save the file and click Next. Select the fields Created By, Created Date, Last Modified By ID, Last Modified Date, and Owner ID and Account Name. Click Finish. Open the file and delete the accounts you don't want to migrate over. Note the formatting on how to insert the system fields. The org will accept these formats only. Also, make sure the user IDs are matching the IDs you want to use in the destination org. For more information on finding profile IDs and date format values, review these knowledge articles and videos. We've put links to all of these in the short description of this video for you. I'll alter the created date and last modified date. Save the file. Open Data Loader. Select Insert. Select Account from the list. Choose the Insert File. Click Next and OK. Click Create or Edit a Map, and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done, and click Next. Select a place to save the success and error files, which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Log into the org and check on the newly inserted record. Notice the system fields have been set and are not using the current time and date. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need system administrator permissions along with create audit access. If you're interested and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.